Welcome. Today let us know the basics of scaling and root planing. Scaling and root planing is a deep planing below the gum line used to treat gum disease. Scaling removes the plaque and tartar from below the gum line. Root planing smoothens the tooth root and helps the gum to reattach to the tooth. We have ultrasonic method and hand scaling method. Let us know. This is ultrasonic method. Angulation of the active area of the ultrasonic tip to the tooth surface is 0 to 15 degrees as compared to manual instrumentation is 45 to 90 degree angulation. In ultrasonic we have vertical adaptation position and horizontal adaptation position. Let us see. For vertical angulation the tip can be readily adapted to all the surfaces facial, visual, distal, lingual without changing the fulcrum. For horizontal, the tip position is perpendicular to the long axis of the tooth and facilitate use in interproximal coronal area. This is the horizontal angulation for the palatal, I mean to say lingual surfaces. For subgingival scaling, it should be adopted vertically. Tip is positioned parallel to the long axis of the tooth with pointed direction towards the base of the pocket. The convex arc of the curved tip confirms the concave anatomy of the tooth surface. Now let us see about the hand instrumentation. As we have already discussed it, the angulation is 45 degree to 90 degree and it has oblique adaptation position. These instruments are called as surface scalars or curates. So based upon the position we have to use the required curate. For the posteriors we use 4R4L. Adapt with a proper finger rest so that there is no damage to the soft tissue. Since angulation is more for hand instrumentation so care should be taken while doing hand instrumentation. After scaling is completed polishing is must we have to do the polishing so take the polishing material adapt to the tooth surface and you have to give distal stroke central stroke and mesial stroke we have to cover all the surfaces like in order to not to miss any surface we have to start with 1 8 that means maxillary right side back teeth and end to 2 8 maxillary left side molar and go to the lower 3 8 and come to 4 8 so in that way we will be covering all the maxillary and mandibular teeth then start the lingual surfaces once scaling is completed wash thoroughly and do flossing if required for the neat appearance give post operative instruction to the patient to know that you can see another link which is given in description box. You can follow us to know the benefits of polishing after scaling. Link is given below. Thank you.